Hello, my name is Jonathan Rosales. This is my assignment for week 5. I will be demonstrating effective use of Mirror EQ in a mixing context. What I have here is, um, well, it's part of a song or a, of a project. And I have three different tracks. It, I have a bass, I have a uh, Rhodes, uh, like this vintage sound, and I have um, electronic drums. Uh, and I will let you hear it without any EQ, how it sounds. Well, you hear that, I mean, it sounds, it, sound, it doesn't sound bad, but still it can be improved. So what I'm going to do now, it's what is called Neuro EQ. Here we are, I just select the bass track. And then I go to the channel EQ. What I will do now is because I'm not interested on the high frequencies for the bass, let's put it around. Even though it, it looks dramatic, it's not so much. But let's just uh, hear it without and then uh, with the filter added. This is without. You hear that some of the brightness is gone, but in the context of the uh, mixing, it, it will make sense. Well, let's say 44, I will say 3 dB. And this, and then around between, I will say 50 and 100, I will uh, low or, or attenuate the, um, these frequencies because what I would like to do is to. Uh, create a space for the kick and I, I will just let it be maybe a bit like, like this and let, let's just now hear the drums I like the drums so as I said before on the on the bass here we have a boost a little bit between 20 and 50 and then we have attenuate between 50 and 100 because we want to leave room for the drums. And then he, let's take the the drums. And what I will do in the in the bass drum or the drums is that I will attenuate or apply a low uh, low cut filter around I will say 40. So I will just put the analyzer so that you can see what is really kicking. And as you can see, it's mainly here, but uh, let's just hear the bass and the drums. The reason why I'm using a face on tremolo is because I really want to, the sound of the keys to sound like very wide and the face and the tremolo helps me to push the the sound to the sides, so I want to leave the bass and the bass uh, the bass and the drums in the middle. And here, what I, what we want is to again uh, make a space for the bass and the drums. So we can I'm going to be a little bit drastic here to I'll be around 200 mid range frequencies. I'm going to push a little bit around over a thousand the EQ without sounds thick and with okay and now we can let's hear everything together reflection for this week is this has been a great week a bit more um, challenging and but really great I have learned a lot a new thing I really have enjoyed so I hope this has been also something that you can apply and thanks for watching bye